Hi there, I'm Anna and this is my review of the Matte Trinkets by Cameron Scott Kirk. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you by the publisher. So thank you so very much uh, to Net Gully, the publisher and the author, uh, in exchange for an honest review. Okay, I really wanted to read this one since the moment I laid eyes on the cover. The book cover, as you can see, is incredible. And it's so dark and oh, I was like, oh, I need to read this now. Then I started reading and I really liked uh, certain things, but there's a couple that I'm not so sure about. So let me go through them. This is an adult uh, dark slash horror fantasy and there are a lot of characters in here which I'm not bothered by at all. I actually loved that even though they're alive you can differentiate each character perfectly. There's no um, and there's also they're also loyal to themselves uh, so there's nothing that would be logical for each of them. The plot makes complete sense within the world. I think it's very well developed and uh, I for this one uh, I really 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 liked uh, how characters are portrayed and explained and how you understand uh, bits of them throughout the different actions and you're not bored at any moment because you're not left with just one character or one vision you can like leave and you're coming back and forth and you can leave different moments and memories from the characters you're brought but you never lost you i mean there's no uh, there's a timeline a main timeline but there are many things happening and being remembered throughout and uh there's never this feeling that I don't know where I am and I don't know where I'm going. Everything's clear from beginning to end, so I really, really loved that. The plot, I think, thought was so creative. I, I thought it was quite an intelligent one. There are a couple of nice twists that you never really know what's going to happen until it does. You're never really sure if that you think is going to happen is actually happening like I really loved the surprises because it's not that easy to do and he um, among all the characters we follow mainly Tristan de Merlon who wants vengeance because he was part of a group of soldiers uh, who fought a war for a king who doesn't uh, care uh, a thing uh, does it bring a bell and Tristan, uh, well, anything that and, and everything that could happen to him right after the war happened to him. And he uh, fills himself with vengeance uh, so hardly that he decides to seek vengeance and go against the king and against the whole world, basically. Right at the end of the war, one of his uh, brothers in arms finds a... Uh, cave kind of cave where there are these trinkets that seem to give people special powers people who wear them and i cannot tell you how you connect this part with the other but because i would spoil everything but it's quite an interesting story and i thought the plot was incredible because there's nothing left out like you'd say like why are you including this why did you tell me this everything uh, the story the plot tells you everything uh, every aspect about each character makes sense later on in the story and everything's connected to something else so i thought that was incredible and uh, the characters actually even though they're there are a lot, as I said, it's impossible to get confused among the characters. They're just, oh, I don't know, they're just perfect. Like, not perfect, of course. The main thing, the, the thing I like the most about this book is that uh, it shows that we're all morally gray somehow. Like, there's no black or white. Everything has something good in them, some, has something bad in them, something evil in them. Like, we're capable of all and every feeling, and I, I thought it was great. Like, uh, you can see many types of people all capable of things you initially would say like no way and um, there's only one character that is um, good 
let's say, uh, from beginning to end. But there are, again, things about everyone. It's like nothing and nobody is pure evil or pure good. And actually, there's some resemblance from to some GOT, uh, Game of Thrones, in case you don't know, to the series. But the uh, I, I was in an interview with the author, and the author never watched Game of Thrones. How is that possible? How is that even possible? There's so much resemblance. There's our main character takes me to a Night King that can actually talk and communicate. Uh, it's, ah, oh, absolutely love that. It was greed. And knowing the, the author knows nothing about Game of Thrones or hasn't watched Game of Thrones, But, but it made it even better because resemblance to me was wow. It was like I can finally hear the Night King talk. So there was one little thing I didn't like that was the sense of humor was in many occasions sexist or quite, uh, but sexist. But you know what? I think it was shown to portray those who were uh, corrupted by the metals and not um, to defend that, uh, if it makes sense. Because I actually realized that sense of humor was used by those who were corrupted, already too corrupted by the metal. So yeah, I think that it's shown like that's not positive at all. Oh, and this is the first book in the trilogy. I don't know what the name of the trilogy is going to be. Probably The Mad Trinkets. But I recommend it. I mean, I really love the first one. It doesn't end in a cliffhanger exactly. But you know there are things coming. I guess it, that's it for me today. I really hope you liked this video. Let me know what you thought about the book. If you're thinking of reading it. If you're intrigued by it. Uh... The last, I don't know, tell me what you're reading at the moment, if you're reading any ARC, what ARC it is, if you would recommend it, if you wouldn't. Talk to me down below, whatever you want to talk to me about. And like, don't forget to click like if you liked the video. And if you like my videos, click the bell for notifications and subscribe to my channel down here. And I hope to see you soon back in my channel. Bye! Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you want.